Running multiple large language models can save you a lot of the API cost if you are a hobbyist like me or if you have a small business use case to test. However, it was not an option for a lot of us like me to run multiple LLMs in our consumer grade hardware like home PC, especially on a Windows system. In this video, I am going to break down how you can run multiple LLM in your home Windows PC. Hi, my name is Avajit. You are watching Note Together, where I try to simplify cutting edge technologies and innovations for your future and your business. Welcome back. So most of the consumer hardware that we have in our home can have two types of system. One with the graphics card like NVIDIA chipset graphics card or without the NVIDIA chipset like you only have CPU, memory and hard disk. In this video, we are going to share how you can run multiple LLMs in both the type of computer. First, we are going to start with the CPU only mode and then we will show how you can run in graphics uh, card setup as well. To start, the first thing that you have to do is go Windows features. You have to ensure that Windows subsystem for Linux and the virtual machine platform, these two are enabled. And there is a reason for that because in this setup, we are going to run an open source program called Olama. Now, those of you who are into the AI space for quite some time may ask me, why Olama? You can run other simple software like LM Studio. The beautiful thing about Olama is if you run multiple models with Olama and if you give instructions to all the large language model at the same time, it kind of enqueue all the instructions and processes sequentially by loading the individual models. That cannot be done by LM Studio. So in theory, you can run multiple LM Studio with different large language model. That means you would need a lot of more memory than if you are running Olama with a lesser memory. For CPU only home computers, we are going to use the Docker image. So to run Docker image in your computer, you need to install something called Docker Desktop. Um, I'm not going to go into the details of how to install Docker Desktop. I have Docker Desktop set up already, so I'm just going to start it. Now that it is loading, I'm going to quickly go through the documentation. So basically, for CPU only, all we have to do is download this Olama image, which is an official Docker image, and run it. And when you run it, it will run on this port in your local system. So make sure that this port is free to run. Otherwise, all you can do is just change these numbers and that should work. I'm going to copy this command and then just run it there. Um, it says that the container name is already used. Uh, that's because I have tested it before. So what I'm going to do is Docker PS minus A and i can see it's running and i'm going to docker remove yeah now if i run it uh boom it has run but for you it may not run immediately it will try to download and start it and for the test let's run the mistral model and i'm running 7 billion parameter because my system only have 16 gigs of memory and in this um, setup i'm running cpu only um, I don't have a very modern CPU, it's a very old AMD CPU, but you can see, or you'll be able to see, it will still run sufficient enough. So what I'm going to do is uh, run Docker exec Mistral. Uh, let's check it. Yeah. Now, this is basically downloading the Mistral model in the background. I'm going to start it. Now my Mistral model is loaded. Let's test it out. It'll tell me another joke. Um, you see my CPU has spiked up like up to 90-98% and um, it doesn't really go that much usually because now I'm also running my recording software OBS and a couple of other tools I think that's why the CPU is spiking up but it usually goes up to 80% okay let's try to run another um, Olama with Code Lama or run this time I'm gonna run code llama let's test
because it's using the CPU, the response is a bit slow as compared to if you run it on GPU. Okay, so this concludes our multiple LLMs running setup in CPU only mode. Now let's explore how you can run it on GPU. One of the things to remember that you can still run on GPU over Docker desktop if you are on a Linux system. But this is a Windows system. There is a documentation where it says you can run NVIDIA Container Toolkit to have support for your GPU in within the containers. But I haven't still figured out how to do that in Windows system. This is all for the Linux system. Okay, with that, let's proceed to run it on um, with the GPU and see how better is the performance going to be. Run command prompt and you have to run WSL uh, minus install uh, and enter. So this, when you run first time, it will download Ubuntu and start Ubuntu. But here, in this case, because I've already run the Ubuntu before, it has directly launched Ubuntu and now I am inside the Ubuntu system. Uh, I'll attach a snippet of the video, uh, which will show when you run this command first time, how it will look like. Now we are inside the Linux. What you have to do is we run Olama. I will uh, attach a snippet of the video how it will look like when you run first time. So if you have a GPU, it will show that the GPU has been loaded successfully. Let's run Mistral there again. So let's run um, maybe another model command from once it is installed, how you can connect is WSL minus user, my username is AI agent uh, minus D Ubuntu. So this will uh, directly let you log in as your user into the Ubuntu event. Now, while this is running, I will also run Olama run um, Lama. These are all running using my GPU, and um, so there won't be a lot of CPU, hopefully this is it um, this was a short tutorial about how you can run multiple large language model on your system um, but what next what why would you like to have multiple llm running on your computer that will be our next video where i will show you how you can actually create a lot of the cool ai agents that will do a lot of the work for you while you sleep or have a drink and the let your ai system do the work for you i hope this was useful Please write in the comment if you have any topic that you want me to cover uh, on AI, cybersecurity, or blockchain space. Um, until then, please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.